Hello there, Sagittarius. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of June 22nd through the 28th. I am using the Wildwood Tarot this time. Somebody recently asked me why I always use the same tarot deck. And I decided, well, hmm, would it really hurt to shake things up a little bit? Probably not. So here we go. So Wildwood Tarot on Monday, Sagittarius. What you have showing up here is the Archer. The Archer is a great victory card. That's what it actually is. So this is talking about that there's something that you've been wanting to have as a part of your life. You've been wanting to manifest this in and you have been very focused on bringing this thing into your life. Not only that, you have asked for spiritual backup to help bring this thing into your life. So in other words, you've been praying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you've been doing ceremony, however it is that you communicate with spirit. So you've been communicating with spirit, you've been very focused on bringing this thing in, and you are bringing it in on Monday. The Archer card just shows that, okay, this has arrived. Now, Tuesday, you also have a great card, Sagittarius. You have the Great Bear in Reverse. I love the Great Bear in Reverse. This basically is talking about on Tuesday, you have a situation in which it would be very easy for you to be insulted or offended. And instead of being insulted or offended, you decide to just let it go and see what happens. So typically when this comes up, what ends up happening is you, later on you find out some information that makes you glad that you did let it slide. Maybe you found out that, you know, this person just found out that they have uh, somebody close to them that is very ill or, you know, they just have some big worry on their mind that would contribute to them acting not necessarily like their normal self. And to have jumped on them for that would have just aggravated the situations going on for them and wouldn't have been wouldn't have made you feel like your best self afterwards. So um, basically, yeah, I'm seeing you giving somebody some grace on Tuesday and finding out later on that you were so glad you did. <laughs> now Wednesday, what we have showing up for you, Sagittarius, is we have the Pole Star, and this is a very good card. Have you guys noticed that we're doing, these are all major arcana cards. The first four days of your week are all major arcanas. So this is a big week for you. Now the poll star tells me that you're in a situation on Wednesday where you're feeling very sure about who you are, comfortable with yourself. You're very much in touch with the reality that's around you and yet you're also tuned into cosmic wisdom as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And you're combining that very well. It's helping you to decipher and decide what do you want to do as your life purpose? What do you want to do before you die? Who do you want to spend your time with? What do you want to spend your time doing? Where do you want to put your energy and efforts? And we're, when we're in this place that's lined up and everything is working well, then that makes us really um, have a much easier time in making those kinds of decisions about what we w actually want to do with our time and our energy. Now, on Thursday, what we have coming up is we have the balance card in reverse. So when the balance card is in reverse, that is telling me something is coming out of balance on Thursday. So this is, um, or not even maybe coming out of balance, but it can be that it has been out of balance, but you're becoming aware of it on Thursday. That's more what I'm picking up, is you're becoming aware of some kind of imbalance in your life. Now, this imbalance, I've seen it show up as a bank account imbalance. I've seen it show up as a relationship imbalance, where one person is giving more than the other person is giving. Um, but basically, however this imbalance is showing up, what's going on here is Thursday you become aware of it, and typically what happens when we become aware of an imbalance like that is we start to try to kick around some ideas about how can we bring things back into balance? How can we make things more peaceful and more well aligned in our life? And so that's what I see going on with you on Thursday. Now Friday really kind of goes along with finding a way out of that imbalance. This is the Five of Vessels and it's reversed. The label on this is ecstasy. I don't see it so much as ecstasy, honestly. Even when it's right side up, I don't see it as ecstasy. This actually is depicting an old um, custom, an old ritual, <coughs> excuse me, an old pagan ritual that had to do with um, taking some um, natural plants, maybe like in a tea or something, I don't remember exactly how, 
in any way that would um, bring the person away from reality. And so this is like a, f a forced ecstasy, if you will. So to me, um, when I see this card, if it's right side up, I really think more about um, people who are using drugs to escape reality. Um, the other, but when it comes up upside down, it's a whole different meaning. And since we've got it reversed, what I'm seeing for you on Friday, Sagittarius, is I'm seeing you coming into a place where um, you're not satisfied letting things um, continue to flow in a way around you that just doesn't feel good to you. So um, one of the ways that this card can translate when it's right side up besides some kind of drug abuse for escape is that this can also be a card where somebody is painting on a smile even though inside whatever's going on is really upsetting to them or really just ripping them apart. And so when this comes up reverse, then that also tells me that we've got a situation where you are now refusing to play happy. You're not going to pretend to be happy anymore, Sagittarius. You're tired of pretending. And so if there's something coming up that really makes you unhappy and that is something that does not feel right to you, you're actually going to be saying something to some people. And there, now you're in a place where you don't care if you rock the boat because whatever's going on really just needs to change. And that's kind of, um, when this card comes up like that, that tells me, Sagittarius, that for a lot of you, this is kind of a new thing for you. So there are some, you know, it's, how do I explain what I'm feeling? Um, this is a complicated type of situation for us as humans. A lot of the times we can have all kinds of different environments or situations where we have no problems saying, hey, this doesn't work for me. How about if we adjust it this way or that way or whatever and work it out? But for most of us, there's one or two areas of life where we would rather pretend things are okay when they're not rather than make waves because we feel like if we make waves, we may make things worse than what they were to start with. And so to come into that place of being able to stand up and say, you know what, this is not right and we need to do something to fix it, what can we do, is kind of a big deal. And when this card comes up, this is telling me that you're in that big deal place. You're in that place where it's a big deal to stand up and say, hey, um, what can we do about this because this doesn't feel right with me. Okay, so there is that card for Friday. Saturday interesting card. Saturday there's something coming up that's going to be triggering some insecurity and when I say triggering um, I feel like this insecurity is something that has deep 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 roots for you and so whenever the actual event happens on Saturday that triggers this insecurity it's really not that big of a deal but whenever it happens around you and you perceive this it just basically puts you back in flashback mode to where you are not in the today situation on Saturday. You're in the situation from 20 years ago that this situation reminds you of and you're very upset. So you're inordinately upset. You're more upset than what you really would be if you were actually seeing the situation the way it is. So it's really important on Saturday to kind of be aware of the here and now and be aware of what it ties into for you and what it doesn't tie into for you and maybe what it maybe what it would be better if it didn't tie in to, for, into for you and do some healing. Um, that's the advice that comes out on Saturday. Now Sunday, two of stones in reverse. This is labeled as challenge, although I've never really seen it as such. But when it's reversed, basically what the Two of Stones is saying is that you're very busy on Sunday. In fact, so busy that it would be a good idea if you could um, reassign your load is the words that I'm giving. Those are not the words that uh, I would normally choose, but that's what I'm hearing. It would be a good idea if you could reassign some of your load to other people to take care of so that all the responsibility isn't falling on you, that other people are... Um, in an accountable space as far as what's going on in their life on Sunday. This feels like a lot of you Sagittarius are kind of trying to run everything all on your own and you're trying not to be a burden to anybody else and yada 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 but at the same time it feels like these other people need to step up to the plate themselves too. They need to be accountable because they are a part of whatever this is that you're doing and so they need to take their rightful place in these situations that you're dealing with on Sunday as well. 
So, Sagittarius, that is your general reading. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, feel free to check out my website and find the service that works best for you. I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you're there and you've poked around a little bit, if you still feel like I'm the best reader for you, then go ahead and um, contact me, and we will schedule something for you as quickly as possible. Everyone else, well, everyone, have a great week. Peace out.